Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to continue from where we stopped last time in the creation of uh, Twister. And if you remember from the previous work, we created a tower. Uh, it's based on the coordinate system and the rotation based on the origin. And the, the type of the deformation and the type of twisting actually being created is a complete uh, uniform. And that means that the twist angle was really the same in each step of the rotation during the plan cut. Now, in this video, I will show you how to change that and how to apply and create a non-uniform twist. It's really not that much of an un-uniform twist. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of uh, uh, following an algorithm, a very basic uh, sine or cosine uh, uh, function that can give us a non-uniform like uh, twist. Uh, it's like a, a bias. Uh, that's hap I think it's a type of a modification. Uh, it's an option actually with a modifier in 3D Studio Max if you experience any type of work with the uh, software. Uh, but we can consider this as a basic non-uniform twisting in making uh, the geometry. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's just start. So that's where we that's where we stopped last time, and in it uh, we created just a quick review. We created the required parameter via the height, the floor, multiplied them, and then we created uh, a 4.2, the, the jump for each level or the height for each level, uh, getting their count, and then we create the point vertically on the point. We created a coordinate system, and then we created a rectangle, and then we just translate those rectangles vertically, and then, oh, actually, it's already been created on each point instantly and then we just rotate them and the base of the degree of that rotation of course it's an origin base but the degree is based on this very basic formula that take the b which is the uh, uh, the actual rotation degree set by the user and a is based on the number you get from the counting of the overall created floor that's what we've done in the last part and today, uh, today's video, we're going to depend on a slight different technique. I want to create uh, a sine wave or a sine, uh, a math dot sine from 0 to 90 because I know that it can give us a bias and that's in the values. That's making the sense of this, it's instead of, you know, if you have a look at uh, this guy here, if we just... Uh, if we pin that, we will notice, I'm just bringing that close somewhere here. I know it's a mess, but have a look. Now what we have is actually, it's actually here. What we have here is we're going as a steady jumps by 2.4 each time around. Rather, this guy have, you know, uh, um, a very, uh, a very close jump uh, like it's an, it's in a point three, point two, point three, and so on in the last part, and then it slightly goes bigger and bigger, bigger, and until it's you see it's like three, four, and you know four, and so on. So the amount of jump or the amount of rotation angle is very big in the beginning, and then goes smaller, smaller as it goes to the end of the range you want. That's different from what we saw here, what we have in the uniform system where each level will have it twisted by 2.46 exactly and that gonna go added as an incremental value each time we go the rotation so how to achieve this type of uh, the deformation uh, or non-uniform twisting is just basic math dot sign and I need a fixed value that's why I fix this into a 90 I need a fixed value of a 90 degree so I need to create what actually gets what really the effect beautiful effect from 0 to 90 degree where in the beginning in the 0 from that one from 0 to 1 the jump really in a big value like 1.2 and that goes smaller and smaller until it's reach b b close to 90 it should goes it's actually it's actually sorry it's actually here uniform because just that just a basic range again a is uh, is the 74 value. If we compare that, that's before what happened to 
that's before we get into the math sign. Sorry, it was my bad. So here it's uniform again, and that's because it's a, a, new form, a uniform list or a uniform range. C0, 1 1.2, 1.2. So that's okay. But here, after you put that in the math dot sign, you will see that it's 0.02, 0.04, 0.0. You know, so it's it's really smaller value of uh, 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 jumps in here. It's 0.2 jump, then 0.2 again, and then 0.2. But if you go here you'll notice that the value is in 0.001 or 0.003 and that's the beauty of it so the, here it's actually even smaller than what we started here as a degree of 0.02 like I think 20 times here bigger than what we have uh, at that at the end of the list okay so in the beginning sorry in the beginning it's 0.02 and that's if you compare it to the end it's just 0.003 so it's like I think 30 or 40 or 50 times bigger in the beginning than the end if we reflect that sign and if we use it directly it will not make any sense because it's you see it's just from 0 to 1 that's what we got from the that zero to one thing so we really need to scale that into a remap or a, just go map that remap range to change those and make them fit to the amount of level to actually the degree of rotation that we provided because we said that this is a fixed relationship in from zero to nine but if you remember the rotation it could be 180 so you have to make this the maximum range here the minimum range is zero so what you're gonna what you, this this node actually would do is telling you telling dynamo to create a new range starting from zero okay ending by the value you want which is in this case 180 but the numbers you start the relationship comes from here so that's beautiful because what what it will do it will create bigger jump in the beginning as we said in the beginning bigger jump and that will really understand degree real degrees uh, the rotation degree from 0 to 3.8 beautiful 3.8 3.8 almost and it goes smaller smaller and then it reached to the top level in here and you can see here it's just like in points like a po 0 0.01 0 0.05 0 0.09 or something 0 0.05 exactly and as it goes vertically, sorry, it's from here, it's very small. And when you go big, it will go down, it really goes big. And when you're going to connect that, you see, that's the uniform here in the, in the background. When you connect this in the degree, and nothing going to happen, of course, for a couple of seconds. And then, you know, that's what we have, like a bigger rotation near the base. And then when you go up, you have a slightly you know or less uh, rotation or less effect that's what we call it a non-uniform twist as you can see in this example if you go back and flex this you can have a 90 degree rotation and that's an actual rotation from the beginning to the end please distinguish between this and what we have here it's a fixed value of 0 90 that we really need to get this effect out of the sign it's just a mathematical issue this is not a real degree of a rotation that's the real degree of rotation if I go 180 so 180 as an overall and you get a best result if you go like I don't know 270 it's whatever value you want you get uh, you know something like that and again I just I'm gonna get put that back to 180 and that's that's the bias again that's the a non-uniform twist toward the lower part if you want to change that and give it to a, 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 a math.cosine in it, you're going to find a totally different way where it bias goes upward, not downward, as you can see in, in this case. And it depends on what you desire and how you want to design the tower, actually. So that will really give you the, the, the ability to create an ununiform distortion or an ununiform uh, twist. You can save that and use it in other types of modification or uh, uh, geometry distortion in, in, uh, in your work. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's all for today, guys. I wish that you find that 
video useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.